Hi and welcome to this next Kaling Tech lesson. So we're going to expand now um, on the previous lesson where we quickly installed MySQL and did a quick test of free radius. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to add further on to this. So the first thing we need to do to start getting um, uh, MySQL ready and free radius itself. This is again going to be a very quick lesson. We're going to do it bit by bit. Okay, we're not going to do it all in one lesson. So uh, what we'll need to do is we need to install a couple of extra little bits for free radius. So we'll do an apt minus y install. And the first thing we need is free radius dash MySQL. But we'll do two at once here. Um, we're going to load the free radius utils as well. Okay, so we're going to install these two parts. So let's do that now. So we'll just wait for this to complete. Um, I've got quite a few VMs running, so it may take a couple of minutes longer than normal. Um, and we'll do a clear on that so that we've got a clear screen again. Now let's just ensure that we've got free radius still running. So we'll do a system CTL status free radius. So let's have a quick look. It's still running. We know that. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can also check in debug mode to make sure it is. So if we do a system CTL stop free radius, and we'll just confirm that's not working. Okay. So now it's not running. So let's clear the screen again. So debug mode allows you to do free radius hyphen capital X. So if you ever have any problems, run this and it will tell you where the problem exists. OK, if it gets to this point here where it's saying ready to process requests, then it's actually functioning. OK, so we'll control C that, which means we no longer have it running. So now we need to start it again. So we'll do uh, we'll enable this at the same time, actually. Um, so let's enable it so that if we ever do a reboot, it automatically starts. So we'll enable it first and then we'll do a system CTL start free radius. And again, let's just check it's running. So we'll do a quick uh status and it's up and running okay as we can see here all right so we know it's actually up and running um so what we're going to do now is um, i don't actually have the firewall running at the moment okay but if we do a ufw status it will tell you whether it's running or not. And as you can see on my system at the moment, I've left it inactive. But let's put a couple of rules in place for 18, 12, UDP 1812 authorization and 1813 um, accounting. OK, so if we do a UFW um, and we'll allow to any port. OK, and we'll do 1812 proto is udp so that's the protocol okay so it's udp and it'll add it in as you can see and we'll do 1813 as well this is in preparation for when we turn the firewall on okay so we've now updated that part okay now what we need to do is we need to ensure that we have a radius database ready within mysql now the first thing we need to do is let's confirm that the look we know we can get into MySQL properly like this, okay? But we need to confirm that the password works correctly. So what we can do is we can choose a user. So we do a MySQL minus U for user, and the user is going to be root, and then minus P for password. But we'll just press enter there, and it'll ask for the password. So you put your password in, and we're in, okay? Now... This isn't an SQL, um, how to configure SQL itself. It's not a lesson on all the command structures. Um, but what we want to do is we want to have a look at what databases we've got. So we can do show databases and always put a semicolon at the end of your command. Um, we notice in here look, that we do not have a radius database. So the first thing we need to do is to create one. Now we don't have to do this in capitals, but I like to. So we can do a create database and we'll call it radius. Remember, semicolon. 
OK, we can use the up arrow. Let's have a look at show databases now. And you'll notice we now have the radius. But if we were to choose that database, um, we'll notice that it's empty. So how do we use that database? Well, we simply do use radius. And you'll note it says database changed. Show tables because we're in the radius database. There is nothing. It's empty. So how do we populate that database? OK, so free radius itself within there is a population um, schema that we can use. So let's let's do that now. So in here, if we do MySQL minus U root minus P, the database that we want to populate is radius. Now, this arrow is saying whatever I'm about to do now is going to be put into radius. OK, so we can use forward slash, etc. cetera, forward slash free radius. We know it's 3.0. We know it's SQL and we can do main. Um, oh, it may not be main at that point. Let me just check where that is again. Um, that's because although we've got that, it's actually in mods config. Then we can do SQL. Then we can do main MySQL. And we should have within there a schema.sql. Now, if we enter that, we need to put the password in again for root for MySQL. We put that in and we do this. So again, if we use the MySQL minus U root minus P, we do the password let me in one for me okay and we do a show databases again we've still got the radius one uh that's because i've spelt that wrong data bases if i spelt it correctly that would help so we again need to use radius okay um now we can do show tables and you'll notice now we've got all the tables that we require okay for the radius database okay so that part is now completed and and we have the actual tables in there but what we need to do for for the actual access we need to create a user that only has all the access that we give it to this table only uh, sorry to this database only so let's create a user so we're going to create user Okay, and we have to put this hyphenated. So we're going to put in here and we'll call it radius at and we're going to tell it, give it access to everything with regarding uh, database wise itself. Okay, within this database. So we can do identified by and you now give it a password. Uh, I'll give it one like rad radius password one. There we go. That'll do us. So we'll just do that. OK. Now what we have to do is we have to give that user its privileges that we want. So we're going to go. Uh, we're going to give it grant. So we're going to grant it privileges. We want to grant it select privileges. OK. Um, we want to grant it insert. We want to grant it update. We want to grant this user delete. And we want to grant this user execute on, okay, the database is going to be a radius, okay, uh, so we'll do a dot star, so anything that begins with radius, and it's only going to be the one, but that's just in case, and who do we want to give it to? Well, we want to give it to the user that we've just created, so we do a radius at, again, hyphenated, percent. OK, and that's what we want to give there. Now, when you give these grants, you then have to do um, a refresh of the privileges. So we do flush privileges. Now, how can we check that that's actually set up correctly? Well, here's here's what we can do. So notice at the moment, if you're on as root, you see all of these databases. All right. Now watch what happens if we log on 
So we can check now that user, so the user now's radius minus P. All right, what was the password we've just created? Rad pass one. Okay, now if we do a show databases, let's have a look at what we can see. So you'll notice now, so before you could see all the databases. Now you can only see the ones that the radius user has access to. And this is the important one. Okay, so from the perspective of the initial configuration, that's what we have ready. Um, we're ready for the next section, which is where we're going to integrate the free radius into um, or accessing it to the database that we have just created. Okay, so again, I'll upload this lesson, uh, the next lesson as quickly as possible. If there's any questions regarding this, then just let me know. Thanks.